you guys on the screen your phone. But before we get to the project, I will eventually give you the instructions for it. I do want to introduce a person that is partnering with us for today's project. Uh, so Adam Ratner can come to the stage. Adam is the owner of Grow Wellness Group. I should know that I work there. Uh, and he is the founder of the Grow Well Foundation. So he's just going to talk to you guys about some of this project that they do and why he's here today and why we're doing our project. And he'll give you a little bit of leadership lesson. Now.
and that did not sit right with me. There's a reason I left corporate America, um, and that was kind of the core reason. So myself and my co-founder of Grow Wellness Group in 2019, we decided to start the group. Um, we're full service, uh, mental health, mental wellness. We do both physical and mental. Uh, we also have a sports psychiatrist. And we did this because we saw things that were happening that were not basically advancing the healthy field and were not a service to our clients at all. And it was burning people out kind of like as we were moving through towards the future. And one of the things that we are so deeply invested in is yes, building leaders for the future, especially on our nonprofit side, is making an impact in the communities that we serve, marginalized included. Um, and it's advancing the helping profession and trying to prevent burnout and stuff like that. So again, I would say it has not been a straight line, um, but what we are doing, the reason we have been successful, I believe, is because of the teams that we have, the trust that we have in our teams, the opportunities that we give each person. We have about 50 clients, uh, clinicians that we serve about 1,000 people a month, and it both sports, I uh, can't give you an actual number on sports, but I think it's about 90, 10% of that number is probably sport. Um, to truly make a difference in various ways. The people for sport will come in for different reasons than somebody else that's struggling with social anxiety. That's just the reality of it, and so thanks it's time. Um, but just to kind of leave you guys with a few other things, uh, besides it's not a straight line, besides trying to treat people and human beings the right way and make a difference and make an impact. Kind of wanted to leave you guys with just some leadership lessons that kind of helped me along the way, the things that I learned, the things that helped me build resilience, the things that helped me be successful. Um, and they may not be the things that you think they are. So first of all, you will hit roadblocks. We have two choices every time we do. You will have many of them. Um, we will feel like a failure at some point. We will feel like we have imposter syndrome at some point in our life if we become leaders. You guys know what imposter syndrome is? Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, we have two choices. We can lean into that, okay? Obviously, we know the spiral of that leads to. I lack of confidence going forward, all that kind of stuff. The idea of taking risks, not being afraid of failure, leaning into it, allowing ourselves to be uncomfortable is truly how we grow as individuals. Um, I used to hate speaking in front of people. Hate it, despise it. Um, the only reason I continue to do this is yes, I have to represent the organization that I work for and I believe in you guys and that's the impact piece. But the other side of it, and that's why I bring my son here to see me do this, to be honest with you guys, um, is because I continue to put myself in uncomfortable situations, and that's how I continue to grow personally. Sure. Okay. The next is be hungry, but be humble. Okay, so hunger is, is hard work, it's grit, it's get knocked down sometimes by as you advance through. Maybe it's not the college you wanted to get into, and you got another one, you got number two coming up. Um, look for the good, look for what you can control. There's plenty of uncertainty out there. Um, it's your own path and try not to compare. I'm going to get back to the whole comparison thing because I know this happened right left with you guys these days. Fair? Kevin, if I got to go, if I'm going over, you're going to tell me to. Okay. Go. Okay. Treat people like humans. Um, again, this is basically, I believe, how we have been so successful in what we do. Um, I can actually tell you my previous life in business, there's probably about 30% turnover every single year. So we didn't treat people like humans. We were revenue generators. That was actually the same as the agency I came from before in mental health. It is not the same where we are now. Um, we have a yoga studio that we give our basically our clinicians access to. If we are basically trying to preach the wellness of our community and the individuals in it, we have to do it ourselves. Okay? So that's how I believe we have done that is meeting people where they are, what feeds them, what do they find valuable, what do they find purposeful in feeding them. Does that make sense to you guys? You're doing the same for yourself, and then it's finding your why. And your why's probably gonna change throughout the course of your life too. Fair. Okay. You are your own brand. This is an interesting one. I know you guys are only kind of looking at college at this point, but as you go through life, I'm just gonna tell you be careful what you put out there into the world. Um, ultimately, whether it's a client in your professional life, whether it's a college, whether it's an employer, you are your brand. Right? And so put your best foot forward. Be yourself. Try not to be somebody that you're not. If you are not yourself in an interview, they won't see right through it. Fair? Okay. 
what you put into the world, you will eventually get back. And so this is kind of like one of the essences of some of the things that we're talking about today. And yes, we are doing it because we want to make an impact. I switched into the healthy field because I wanted to save one life. My bar was really low, and I had to keep it low because um, I didn't really, I had no idea what was truly realistic. But what you put into the world does generally come back to you because people see it. They see what kind of person you are. They will want to work with you. They will want to be on your team, especially if you take a vested interest in them and their life. Fair? And they will do the same in many cases. Here's the last big one. Do not compare yourself to others unless you want your journey to be derailed in a significant way. Social media. These are the highlights of our lives. I know this personally. I do not post on social media, but my wife does, and it's the highlights. Okay? We still do this as adults. Um, trying to compare where other people are getting into college, trying to compare whatever jobs they have. You have your own paths that you guys have to go down through by yourselves, kind of. We have our support, but that is yours and yours alone. Do it your way with a lot of the tools that you guys have learned this week. Cool? All right. Service bug? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You guys have awesome interviews. Um, so for the service project this year, we kind of put our heads together in a room, and what would make a difference uh, that aligns with, am I that hard to see over there with binoculars? <laughs> uh, I'm going to play the audience a little bit. So the reason we did it, the idea we came up with, and it aligns so well with Grow Wellness Foundation, and it's making an impact in the communities that we serve. And it's not just Illinois, it can be all over, and that's who we plan to share some of this stuff with. And the assignment for you guys, I can say this right, and gals, um, is to come up with a short video, three to four different pieces of advice, that you would give, I know, the only people that would see this are incoming freshmen, in probably places you do not know. The people that will be seeing you on video are probably not gonna know who you are, feel uncomfortable on video. I don't know, I can talk to you in the corner and try to give you some brief therapy and make you uncomfortable too. Um, but this is something that we can use to pay it for what to expect in high school. They're coming from eighth grade to high school. Um, this is a tough one. They don't know what to expect, they're expecting all sorts of craziness. Um, so this would be your advice to them on the lessons that you have learned that have allowed you to be successful or the things to watch out for um, that have caused you to stumble a little bit. So I think that's kind of the nature. Um, once you guys get done with the videos, the idea is to be to email them to Kevin. I, I'm just throwing you right in the bus, Kevin. And then you'll edit it and make a nice long video for us. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Perfect. Um, but we plan to share this very, very far and wide. And I know the association does as well, and I think it could be something truly great that we can give to younger people, and again, taking the things that you guys have learned, not just that's made you successful, the challenges that you've had and how you've come on the other side, or if you're still working on it, what you guys are actually working on. Is that fair? Doable? Yes. Okay. Thanks, guys. We really, really appreciate your help, um, and so will the young people that are going to be doing this for you. Thank you.